as a realtor and investor just like you, I've always been challenged with understanding where my marketing dollars are being spent and most effectively. In this short video, I'm gonna show how connecting your chatbot to a QR code by BeaconStack is a much more effective tool to bring the analytics behind those scans so you know where your dollars are being spent in the most economical way to drive those leads. Hello, I am Smarty with the ProEdge Marketing Team and I'm so glad you're here. Before I actually go in and dive into the solution, I need to give a shout out to my boys. I have to apologize to you St. Louis, Atlanta, and ho hopefully soon to be San Diego Padre fans as my Phillies are on a quest to the World Series. But enough of this baseball talk, let's move into the solution. In this video, I'm gonna show how easy it is to attach ManyChat, your flows in ManyChat, to a QR code made by BeaconStack. Now, you may be saying to yourself, if you've been watching my channel, Smarty, you know, you've been promoting QR codes for a while. In fact, a couple weeks ago, I had my 12 favorite strategies around QR codes for realtors. Uh, check out that video. Um, and I've always promoted ManyChat's growth tool uh, QR code as a way to do it. Uh, and I've used it over the years. Um, I, the problem with that is that uh, the QR code for ManyChat is a static QR code. And there's no analytics behind where those scans are coming from. If you think about that, you know, you, you may have a farming campaign where you're, you're doing door hangers out to a neighborhood on one side of town. On another side of town, you may have invested in uh, putting your sign on a shopping cart with a QR code in the local shopping cart. Uh, and lastly, you may be doing Craigslist ads and have a QR code on those photos. Do you really know where those scans came from? Introducing BeaconStack. And here on BeaconStack, uh, they have a very rich analytical engine that will show you exactly how your campaigns are performing and where these people are scanning your marketing material. So let's dive in and let me show you how easy it is to connect your ManyChat uh, flows to a BeaconStack QR code to start driving those analytics. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that bell so you get notified. I will be doing a follow-up sequence to this video where I'm gonna dive further into BeaconStack's analytics so you understand what's available to you and how to set up a, a very rich campaign for your marketing efforts. So make sure you stay tuned. Let's hop over to ManyChat and let me show you how this works. So in the ManyChat side, in order to connect it to BeaconStack, what we're gonna use here is what's called a ref URL. So in, in the ManyChat system, this is my ProEdge chatbot package here. I'm just gonna take for the example, my rent to own campaign for Facebook. And uh, I always start people right here and the starting step is a flow that I, I put them into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit edit and if you come over to the grow tool over here and come to the bottom, you're gonna hit add trigger. Now on the add trigger, what you wanna do is you wanna come over here and say uh, message, messenger ref URL. And I always like to name these. So I'm gonna call it, um, I'll call this uh, beacon stack uh, QR, QR code. Or I'm sorry, not QR code, but I'm gonna say URL. So uh, I have uh, a name for where it comes in. So when I'm inside of ManyChat and I'll know uh, where the subscriber came from, uh, I can see that it came from one of my BeaconStack uh, scans and I'll go into BeaconStack to actually see the analytics around how the campaigns are performing. So uh, I'll put a little, uh, I'll say scan me right here and, uh, and I'll hit copy clipboard. So this is the URL you're gonna use inside of BeaconStack when you're connecting that QR code. So now let's hop over to BeaconStack and let me show you how easy it is to create that QR code. So once you have your account, and there's a free account and then some upgrade accounts, you have trials and stuff in, in BeaconStack, check them out. You're gonna go over here to the blue button here, say create a QR code. When you create the QR code, you'll see they have lots of different methods to put behind that QR code, lots of uh, activities from uh, sending them to business pages, to social media, to emails. What I'm gonna use is up here what's called website. So I'll click on the website and I'll go in and I'm gonna paste the ManyChat um, URL that I just got from ManyChat uh, into that URL parameter. So now when they scan it, it's gonna open up Messenger and the bot's gonna start talking. I'm gonna hit next. And then inside of the Beacon Stack, they have a much more robust editor 
to really design compelling looking uh, QR codes. So they could be anything from eyes. You could change the eyes that you see uh, to leafs. Uh, you could put a logo in just like you had in ManyChat over here. You could also play around with the pattern. So if you want different pattern QR codes, uh, you could change around. And of course, you could always change all the color gradients uh, here in the system. So you can make those QR codes as beautiful as you want. And then over here, it's also, uh, they do a scannability test. And right now it's coming up green. One of the uh, key features of Beacon Stack is those QR codes you create have to be scannable. Don't go print them on door hangers and letters and so forth and mail them out just to find out that they weren't scannable. Beacon Stack has you covered in that aspect. And then over here, we're gonna hit next. And as it's updating, that's as easy as, as it is. And then I could take my phone out and if I take my phone out or here in the, the, the YouTube uh, video here, if you take your phone out and scan it, that should open up Messenger and you'll go through the ProEdge chatbot rent to own flow so you can see how that operates. But this is the first step is now swapping out many chat QR codes with Beacon Stack QR codes. And my next video, I'm gonna show the analytics behind there, all the power of this engine to understand where your marketing comes in. So as you can see, connecting a chatbot to a Beacon Stack is super simple. Uh, taking that ref URL right to the QR code. But now what you're gonna see in the next series of videos I have is the power of the Beacon Stack analytics. And that's the message in this video. The QR code in ManyChat is great and it served its point for a while, but now I'm putting a much more robust marketing effort as a realtor out into the field. So when I have my different campaigns going around town, I'll know exactly where those scans are coming from so I can invest my dollars appropriately. If you like this video, consider uh, giving me a thumbs up. Let's share this across the YouTube world. Uh, if you haven't already, smash that like button and subscribe and make sure you don't miss another video as I, I'm here to help serve you with technology that's gonna help you drive more leads and make your business more efficient. See you on the next one.